A heart attack occurs when the coronary arteries or one of its branches gets blocked or occluded. So let's say we blocked this area of this artery. That would mean blood couldn't effectively make it further downstream, and this area of the heart muscle could potentially die. And we call that a myocardial infarction or a heart attack. Now, many of you are aware of the typical symptoms of a heart attack, like chest pain that can radiate to the arm, the jaw, the back. People can get sweaty. They can have dizziness and lightheadedness. But we also get questions about what are the diagnostic tests or the tests that a hospital would run to confirm the diagnosis of a heart attack. Now, within 10 minutes of somebody making it to the hospital, or at least that's the goal, if they suspect a heart attack, they'll almost always do two tests. One is an ECG or EKG. And maybe you've seen some of them moved up to this 12 lean ECG. And this can provide information on what part of the heart is affected and what type of heart attack somebody is having. They'll also draw a troponin. A troponin is a biomarker found in the blood, and certain levels of this can indicate cardiac injury or an injury to the heart muscle itself.